Hey guys, welcome back to more My Hero Academia reactions. We're on season two, episode four. Last episode, Deku won the obstacle race. He finished first place. And then now they're about to start the second round. Yeah, what is it called? The cavalry something. Yeah. I know it's a team team it's effort. It's a team game. Yeah. But, but Deku is at a disadvantage because yeah. he, since he got first place in the obstacle race, now he has the most points. And 10 thus, million. He has a target on his yeah. back. So if, because of this next game, if you defeat him... You get 10 million points. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty Shit. much. Yeah. It's like, but you know, how is this going to work? What's going to happen? Who's going to team up with him? Who's brave enough to team up with right? him? Right? Like, what, what's going to happen, you know? Yeah. We just have to find out. So with mm -hmm. that being said, let's get on with my hero. Anyway, it's better to team up with people you like. Ooh, oh. like. There's something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Ida, team up, come on. A good strategy, but I'm sorry. What? Huh? I'm afraid I must refuse your offer. Aww. Didn't see that Since coming. This all started. Bakugo and Todoroki have challenged you already. Mm. They aren't the only ones who see you as a rival. Okay. Okay. I respect that. Yeah. I'll try my best to defeat oh, you. Oh, he's with them! Damn, that's the OP team! Traitor. Everyone's an enemy. Todoroki's team is OP! Yeah, it is. I'm getting goosebumps, yo. This time. He just has Ochako! Oh. oh! Who are you? The support lady. I'm as spicy over you, then I'll be in the spotlight part of the team that everyone is keeping their eyes on. That means my super cute little baby. Oh, that's what she'll be recognized. That's definitely needed for somebody in the support class who needs to stand out. Join me. Ooh. Ooh. I chose the three of you because I believe we'll make for the most stable formation possible. If, if Todoroki right chooses you, you gotta yeah. accept that shit. When I'm in battle, that's his dad. I never use my left side. Ooh. Ooh. Is that why we haven't seen like the fire side? Six six five. Six fifteen. <laughs> so that's too much, yo. Uh oh. Watch your faces. Ooh, okay. gonna Iron Man this shit. Oh, that's sweet. Please continue to watch over our blind spots, Dark Shadow. Oh, that's oh, an extra member. Oh yeah. His shadow. That's fucking smart, dude. Your babies are amazing, Hatsume. Thanks. I'm the one who's making this. She's fucking <laughs> jelly <laughs> AF. Up, up, up. Uh oh. Oh, the sticky oh. balls! God damn it! Oh. oh! Okay, he's like their tank. They're attacking from the inside. Mm -hmm. That's the sticky team right there. Uh oh, here comes Bakugo. Are you allowed to fly on your own? He wants a piece of Midoriya. Shadow! Thank you. Hold on here. This is an unexpected turn. What? Wait, he stole all their shit! Oh! You're kind of famous, aren't you? For being attacked by that sludge villain. Ah. He's trying to get under his skin. Yeah, and it's working. The role of the victim. <laughs> oh, shit. oh, it's working, all right. How do you get that bent so fast? Because everybody's distracted trying to get Deku, so they're not worrying about their own shit right now. Everyone, don't worry. I think we're okay. Nope. Spoke too soon. Scratch that. Todoroki? Yeah! Here we go! Oh shit! All Might's guy versus Endeavor's guy. Let's go. So that was the first part of the cavalry battle. Mm -hmm. I didn't expect a support student to be on Deku's team. Yeah, same. Like we got Ochako, right? But Ida. Yeah. 
dude, that Ida fucking refused. sucks. But I get it, and I respect it. Uh, I respect it. I know. He's I know. trying to beat his rival, and he can't do that by being in his team. rival's team. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, it's the same with Bakugo and Todoroki. Yeah. You know? They can't. They can't beat Deku. They can't get that spotlight, that number one slot, if they're dude. on his team. Like, you know? you're better off getting second place in the obstacle race. Yeah. Because it was only, what, 200 or 300 points? Yeah. Compared to 10 million? But then again, but as never... the first place, all you have to do is keep that. Yeah. Survive the whole game mm -hmm. maintaining that shit in your possession and you you should be fine. Yeah. But That's you know, one adva advantage. They didn't even know like what the next game would be so it'd yeah. be hard to plan around this yeah. unless you've been watching yeah then it's rng you know like if you've been watching the games and you would get a familiar like style of how they go about things yes yeah. that's one way to look at it but if you don't and you're just like you, you know entering the tournament or entering this thing for the first time Without knowing, it's kind of, like you said, it's RNG. Mm -hmm. It's hard to understand, like, what's going to happen next. And the main thing is, like, obviously to be number one. Because they want to be looked at. They want to be in the spotlight. Mm -hmm. And number one is that slot. So that's mm -hmm. what they were aiming for. I just got to give props to the creator of this series. Oh, yeah. Like, all of his ideas, for the most part, so original. Mm -hmm. Like, the sports festival, like, the obstacle race... Not so much, but this one for sure. Yeah. The cavalry battle. Mm -hmm. I've never seen anything like it before. And then Same. the point system too. Mm -hmm. It's so original. Right? Because you would never think that like no, the number one spot has that big of a target on its back. And then the fact that they're carrying them and then each, you know, leg has a purpose yeah. and shit. Like each person has their own quirk and they have yeah. their own own thing that they can do like it's so unique the way that they can mix and match these characters and like how do you come up with the matching like how do you come up with like okay so it's gonna be this guy with this one be able to do this and then like you know here and there the the way that they go about it is so amazing you and know? then how the you know the creator of the series built um the the main protagonist's team it makes yeah. sense yeah. You know, like the support girl, there's a reason why we were introduced to her last episode. Mm -hmm. It's because she has a purpose here. here yeah. And then uh, Ochako is because, like, she's been set up with Deku yeah. from season one. Like, mm -hmm. she likes him. Mm -hmm. You know, it makes sense. And, and then, then the the shadow guy. Yeah. I, I get it. He, it's like having two people in one body. But mm -hmm. did you remember what was his reasoning for accepting? I didn't, I didn't I, quite... We'll have to rewatch it. Yeah, I don't I think... Hear. I don't think they mentioned it. Yeah. But they did. But, but yeah. Still, like, it, I like his role. It's like yeah. two in one. Yeah. So you basically his, have, what, five members. Mm -hmm. His shadow can, like, look out. Yeah. Their blind spots cover them. So, it, you know, while the support is being... The support girl, her inventions are getting them off the ground. Like, mm -hmm. literally being able to jump and dodge and, and then Ochako's zero gravity is able to give them like a softer landing yeah. and be able to also float them as well and mm -hmm. yeah going back to the support girl like her reasoning makes sense mm -hmm. like you know Deku's at the spotlight if you join him you'll be in that spotlight mm -hmm. and if he uses your invention and you guys win it, it benefits looks good on you her. yeah, yeah and Deku so yeah. it's a win-win situation without all that like why would she team up with someone she doesn't know yeah right there has to be something in it for her and mm -hmm. the explanation is like it makes sense and it's perfect mm -hmm. uh so class 1b 1b right has a this well at least one of uh, a team at least has this strategy going on where you know don't mind the dangling carrot at the moment Focus on other people who are preoccupied and... With that dangling carrot. With that dangling carrot and, you know, grab their headbands. And, yeah. you know, for them, it's been working because they got Bakugo and, you know... Mm -hmm. Other than that, it's definitely getting under his skin as always. And this guy is just really pushing it with Bakugo. Like, yeah. you know, it's, it's hilarious. Like, Bakugo didn't realize that at first. Because obviously the it was the dangling carrot. 
Mm -hmm. That's going on. Yeah, Deku is has the most points, mm -hmm. and he's been wanting a piece of Deku yeah. since he lost to him. Yeah. You know? He's been wanting a piece of Deku since they were kids, to be yeah. honest. If you think about it, 1B helped Deku. Yeah. Like, because yeah, kind of Bakugo's target shifted. Yeah. It shifted from Deku to like 1B. Everybody else <laughs> in the tournament. Yeah. And you don't need the 10 million, right? Yeah. I think the 10 million, if you get it, it just guarantees that you're advancing. Mm -hmm. But if you make it through the cutting point you yeah. should be fine that's so that's exactly what they were saying yeah so you don't need the 10 million yeah like the 10 million is just if you're really trying to go for that number mm -hmm. one spot which is i think todoroki i think that's what he's trying oh, to do i can't wait for that you know because they kind of left us off in that situation deku yeah, versus number todoroki. one versus number two Cause again it's like all might's student versus endeavor's son you know, one versus two. Mm -hmm. Fucking love it. Todoroki said, like, while he's in battle, he doesn't use his fire side. I I, I guess to like, because his dad's already fire. Mm, kind of like to like I, I want to be my own hero. That type of I don't know. But to not use it. Yeah. You know, I I can understand kind of suppressing it in a sense or not using it as often. Because the fire ice dynamic duo is is very interesting because the way he can freeze and melt yeah but for him to like not use it at all in a sense while in battle like it, i mean it makes a for an interesting character that's true because you know like using it is kind of like him going full power mm. you know i'm thinking of it in a dragon ball sense like if he's only using 50% of his power and he's already OP, like that's impressive. And then if he goes full hundred, he uses both. Then that's it's like, true. holy shit, this that's guy true. is not to be messed with. You know, mm -hmm. like I'm thinking at it from that lens. I could see it. All right. Yeah. But it's, it's still like interesting because uh, Todoroki's, you know, mindset didn't switch there. He's still going after Deku because he wants that spot. He wants to be in the spotlight. He already declared yeah. war. That's true. You know? And this is oh, this yeah. is war. Anyways, what you guys think of this episode? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. I'm Danny. I'm Ray. And we'll see you guys in the next video.